I've been working on slowing down my aging speed for the last three years. I have made great results with this as I now have one of the slowest speeds of aging in the world. To achieve this result, over the last three years, I've made some quite significant changes to my diet and food choices. So in this video, I'm going to cover the top dietary and food changes that I made that helped me to slow down my aging. It's showtime. So the first and probably the biggest dietary change that I've made is going from a lower carb intake to a higher carb intake. I have a very good example of this because in 2020, I did my first biological age test, which gave me the result of 16 at the chronological age of 25. Now, that's already an amazing result by itself. But in 2023, a few months ago, I did the same test and the results show that I was still 16 at the chronological age of 28 meaning that over the past three years, my biological age on that particular test hadn't changed. It had stayed the same. Now, that's even more of an amazing result because it means that my biological age hadn't increased over the last three years, at least based on this test. And the biggest change that I had made was going from a lower carb intake to a higher carb intake. Before 2020, I had been eating like a low carb diet for the last several years. I was never like actual strict keto. I did carb cycling even then. So I might have eaten like carbohydrates once a week or something like that. But after 2020, starting around 2021, I started to switch more towards an actual higher carb intake. Right now, my carbohydrate intake is around 200 grams per day on average. So based on my example, in my case, in my biology, going towards a higher carb intake and reducing my fat intake actually improved my biological age. And the same applies to my blood work. All of my biomarkers, all of my blood work has improved after switching from the lower carb intake to the higher carb intake. So for me, the biomarkers are better and my biological age results are also better. The second change that actually was facilitated by the first change of eating more carbohydrates is fat loss. Now it's not a dietary change per se, but I did see some reduction in my body fat levels going from the lower carb intake towards the higher carb intake. From the perspective of biological age, then lower body fat levels generally are more beneficial for slowing down the speed of aging. Now, obviously I wasn't obese before I still had abs. I have better abs now, but for me, even just the smallest difference is a win. So what happened was that switching from the lower carb intake to the higher carb intake increased my metabolic rate and it increased my thyroid functioning, which all will improve just, you know, the aspects of fat loss. This is what just works for me. Everyone should follow the same kind of scientific method in their own diet journey. They test, they see what works, and based on the results, they make the changes. Like if something doesn't work, or if something is keeping your blood work suboptimal, or keeps your body composition at suboptimal, or your biological age test results are worse, then you shouldn't follow that diet unless you don't care about like your longevity or biological age. If you do care about those things, if you do want to live longer and healthier, then yes, you may have to make the changes that actually improve your biomarkers and improve your biological age results and your body composition. The third dietary change I made was adding more methyl donors. Methylation is the process of moving methyl donors around. And when methyl donors attach to your DNA, then they regulate epigenetics and the expression of genes. This is going to have a massive impact on your longevity pathways and your speed of aging not to mention hormones and other vital functions inside the body. There are some human studies showing that higher methyl donor intake will help to lower biological age by the DNA methylation age test. So the foods that contain the most methyl donors that I added to my diet were, I eat some liver quite regularly now. Beetroot is an amazing source of trimethylglycine, which is a major methyl donor. I do eat a lot more foods that contain glycine as well, like a gelatin powder, different kinds of cruciferous vegetables. I just eat more of those than I did in the past. Dark leafy greens as well. And I also consume a lot of these different kinds of adaptogens and herbs and spices that support methylation. So it doesn't matter which type of a diet it is, is it a low carb diet or a high carb diet, what you do want to do is make sure you get adequate amount of methyl donors. And the last practice that I did was earlier time restricted eating. I do follow the same intermittent fasting schedule pretty much that I did in the past. I eat mostly one meal a day and I have a protein shake before my workouts. That's what I've been doing for the last six years. That hasn't changed. But what has changed was the timing of my latest meal of the day. Back in 2020, I had my latest meal around 7 p.m. or something like that. But right now I have it at like 5 or 4 p.m. There's a lot of benefits to having like an earlier dinner rather than later dinner because 
you know, a lot of the longevity pathways, a lot of the repair processes happen in your sleep. And having too much food in your system right before bed might disrupt some of these processes and it certainly will disrupt the quality of your sleep. Sleep is one of the most important things when it comes to longevity and slowing down aging. If you don't sleep well, then yes, you will age faster. So what I recommend you do is to stop eating at least three to four hours before bed. And as a bonus tip, the fifth thing that lowered my biological age the most is not drinking alcohol. Now, I haven't been drinking alcohol for the last eight years so this doesn't apply necessarily to the time frame of the three years where i did the tests but not consuming alcohol is a major win when it comes to slowing down your biological age and increasing longevity alcohol is a major disruptor of methylation it's a major disruptor of your sleep quality it's a major disruptor of your body composition and it just has a negative effect on your blood work across the entire board now there are some epidemiology studies that find that moderate alcohol consumption is associated with lower risk of mortality if you were to control all the variables then you would probably see that not consuming alcohol isn't going to increase your risk of mortality and in, in most cases it will just have you know a po positive effect on your aging speed now of course you don't have to be like zero tolerance with this you can still have maybe like a drink or something like that but you should never consume any more than two drinks per night you can definitely check out my other videos about these topics where i cover my food choices that lowered my biological age my exercise routine that lowered my biological age and just the overall daily routine that did so as well but do you want to maintain biological youth and add healthy years to your life if yes then we're looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock if you're interested then email me the word health to info at and i'll send you the details but other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click the like subscribe notification bell as well my name is seem stay optimized stay empowered